Hey, last night, the 21st uh, uh, season, 21st season. Yes, of The Bachelor. Oh, I God. know. It premiered here time. on Channel 13. This season's probably going to be the juiciest. Mm. Each week, our producer, Brittany, is going <gasps> to be taking us further into the mind of Bachelor fans everywhere, dying to know what she's got. Oh, What's yes. Up? She's here with us right now. And uh, let's welcome her. This is great. At also, first time as a get to know you, producer. Brittany Avery, we're so happy to have you producing on the show. Mm, thank you. You're, you're fabulously talented as a producer. Mm -hmm. And conveniently, you're a hardcore Bachelor fan. I am. It's kind of crazy. Uh, help, <laughs> help me become one because I've never yeah. gotten sucked. I'm not the demo, as they would say. Uh -huh. uh, you are with the beard now. Uh, well, yeah. yes, maybe I am. I, right I spent New Year's in my sweats while Marsha was breastfeeding the baby. So I have a lot of TV time now. <laughs> what am I missing? What's, what, what happened on the premiere? OK, so on The Bachelor last night, it was all about first impressions. Mm -hmm. So um, honestly, it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Because usually it can get a little wacky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Don't some people have shown up on horses and whatnot. See the beard? But, okay, I yeah. saw the beard. OK, Brittany, let's start with the very beginning. Because I think mm -hmm. to get into the show, you probably want to you want to connect with the people. So tell me all you about do. Nick. Nick, oh boy, this guy. <laughs> Sorry. He seems. I mean, I've done a little bit of research on him. He seems like he's a loser. He's he's yeah. not. He's not been doing very well as, as far as the yeah, shows are concerned. Loser mm -hmm. with the ladies, but that actually makes him more likable, I think, to the ladies, yeah. doesn't it? Um, so he's very I nice. I just got hooked on Ben's season of The Bachelor, mm -hmm. and then I watched JoJo's and then Bachelor in Paradise. So I don't really know Nick's past too much, but yeah. they catch you up and everything with Andy and Caitlin. So Andy said no to him. Wow. Yeah. Caitlin said no to him. He's wow. gotten turned down on the show at least yes. twice. And then in Bachelor in Paradise, he was ready to propose to Jen. And then he's like, no, it doesn't feel right. Wow. So, mm. yeah. So now it's his fourth time to try, which a lot of girls are like, well, this shows his dedication to wanting to find love and everything. That's such a strong, you know, uh, quality for him and stuff. So... So he's my, on the upside now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he was on the down with Caitlin and Andy, because people didn't like him. I guess he was a jerk. I didn't watch, but he was supposedly. My initial now. impression of him is that he's a pretty nice guy. He's from like a family of eight, um, nine kids, something like that. He's wow. the oldest in a big family. That. Like he's mm -hmm. he, he's he the oldest. Yeah. All this all goes back to being rejected because it's the younger not. one keeps taking all the all the attention, all the spotlight. Ooh. Man, this guy is like doomed <laughs> he's still he, uh, twice says no was be, being told no to i think he said no to jen because he didn't want to be told no a third time yeah that's what i think i honestly think with jen too she came later in bachelor in paradise so yeah. they didn't have too much time to connect mm -hmm. but they kind of got like rushed into it like hey if you want to be engaged you need to decide now or wow. leave Huh. Okay, so Sean and I are both a bit new to this, but mm -hmm. here's the deal. So last night, it was the season premiere. There's yeah. all these ladies he has to choose from, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit like a game. So there's this yeah. thing you can do if you're watching the show to be part of it called the Fantasy League. The Fantasy League. What is this? Yes. So before each episode, you'll be able to put your picks in. They ask random questions. Like last night, it was like, <laughs> what was the color that most girls would be wearing? Red. Which I guess that because you see the promos and stuff, yeah, like you can <laughs> you can get some of that. Yes. But seriously, like everyone was wearing red. They were all like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I wear red. Like, why did why didn't I pick a different color and stuff?" Now I have <laughs> to try to. That's what people that sit on our couch ask yeah. every day. Yes. <laughs> it's like, why am I disappeared right now? Yes. Yeah. So how could they stand out? Uh, but also, like at the beginning, they had other bachelors on talking to Nick about stuff. So then you guess, oh, which bachelor is not going to be talking? And I, I guess that right somehow. I didn't know. Who. Did you do this on your phone? The you can do it league? on your yeah. phone or you can do it online. So okay. either way. But um, yeah, so they'll ask you questions each week and it, it'll open up the day after the show airs. And then you have until the week before. I think I should enter only for the fact that every like football draft situation, whatever is the first, the girls like first time doing it, they always end up winning. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll just pick because I'm just guessing. And I think yeah. I might take the whole thing. You should. Mm. And before January 16th, you can put your votes in for who's going to be the last four for hometown. Oh, yeah. And the fi who will get the final rose. Oh. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, that'll it's enter the, you final four. into a sweepstakes. It's great having Brittany, thank Thanks, you. Brittany. Guys. You're going to update us next week? Yes, I will. Wonderful. It's your, it's your job. You've heard <laughs> it here from our Morning Blend producer. Sign up now for the Fantasy League and stay tuned each week to see who Nick the Bachelor is falling for. And he can